Oh, goody. All right. What's going on, everybody? Zombies here again, and today we're back with another Marble Snap video. So in this one, we have some pretty big news about when the new cards are dropping, the upcoming Steampunk variant rush, and maybe most importantly, uh, some news about changes to matchmaking, including a new bonus that is going to be going live with the start of the new season later on tonight. So taking a look here, we do have the release dates for the upcoming cards for this season. March 7th, Modoc is making his way from the pass into Series 5. March 14th will be Master Mold. March 21st will be Negasonic Teenage Warhead. And March 28th will be Kitty Pride. So looking forward to all of those. Definitely probably going to be picking up Negasonic and Kitty at the very least. Then we have information on the upcoming Steampunk Variant Rush. Their second ever Variant Rush is almost here. Every time you open a collector's reserve between March 21st and April 4th, there's a chance you might get one of our brand new steampunk variants or titles. These unique variants are only available during the variant rush event. So there we can see the five variants that are going to be available for Falcon, Shocker, Bishop, Cerebro, and Yellow Jacket. So that's pretty exciting. If you want your best chance at getting as many of these as possible, then I would start saving your collector's reserves now. Uh, because basically by saving them now, you have a chance, higher chance of getting them when the variant rush goes live on the 21st. And then last but not least here, uh, we have some information about uh, a bonus starting with this new season. With the start of the new season, we're testing rewarding five times more bonus cubes every time you reach a new ranked tier. So what exactly does that mean? Well, you might have noticed that when you hit a new rank bracket, so let's say you make it from the 70s into 80 or the 80s into 90, etc. You might notice when you hit that 90 and you look back at your rank, you're actually 91. It gives you a bonus of 10 cubes. And that seems to be the thing that they are changing here. Now, when you make it into a new ranked bracket, it seems it'll propel you up to, let's say, 95 instead of 91. So one of the big complaints about ladder and snap is it is a very, very grindy system. And this seems to be a way they're testing out of trying to make the experience a little bit faster and more enjoyable for all of the players. The last major thing here we have to cover is a message from Steven uh, talking about the excitement and anticipation around their plans to improve ranked mode and the matchmaking experience. He says that they want to share more information about the future. Their first short-term improvement goes live at the start of the new season, which is the cube bonus we just talked about. They're increasing the amount of bonus cubes earned when reaching a new rank from 10 to 50. So before they gave you a bonus of 10, now they're giving you a bonus of 50, so five ranks instead of one. However, we are not done making adjustments. Stay tuned for a new blog, including future plans for ranked mode and matchmaking in the next week or two. So this is good information. Um, I'm glad they are giving us a timeline. Uh, the only downside here is, uh, and I think there's a little frustration from this. Uh, it was previously stated that we were supposed to be getting this blog today, Monday, and now we gotta wait a week or two. Uh, unfortunate, you know, I think communication's always good, uh, but you definitely have to be careful about how you do some of it as by, you know, saying, hey, this is coming Monday. And now it's like, hey, this is coming in a week or two. That kind of, you know, messes with people's expectations. And I think it's a lot better if it's not known when a certain thing is, you know, planned to release or come out like this blog post. Better to say, hey, it's coming in the future rather than, hey, it's coming on Monday. A minor thing but i do think this type of communication is important and trying to do it in the most optimal way uh, leads for a better experience for both the players and the developers the last thing worth mentioning here unrelated to the changes we're seeing today is uh balance changes so no news on any balance changes if you're around for the start of last season uh it, this probably doesn't come as a super big surprise they typically do not release a patch with the start of a new season. Uh, I imagine we will see news about a patch within the next week or so. Personally, I think this is a little bit disappointing because I'm really excited to mess around with Nimrod, try a bunch of fun stuff later on tonight on stream. 
However, I think a lot of people, myself included, really feel like we're in kind of a solved format right now, where Thanos and Shuri are just standing very tall above pretty much all other strategies. And uh, I don't think the addition of Nimrod is really going to change that very much. Yeah, I'm hopeful, you know, a bunch of other people will be trying some cool stuff out tonight so we won't only see those two decks. Uh, but I think the reality of the situation is a lot of people are just going to jam those two decks because they're the best and people just want to get that climb going. Uh, so hopefully we'll see some information about this soon. But I do think uh, there's definitely a learning experience here. When you have a meta that is, you know, getting kind of stagnant at the end of a season, I think it really is in the best interest of both players and developers to try and change that up as a new season is starting so that way we can kind of feel like there's a lot more room to breathe with testing and trying to figure out if the new card is good and how it works and all that stuff we saw this last season where modok released while silver surfer and zabu were still unnerfed for a few days and uh the the modok hype died pretty quickly because it just couldn't compete with those two decks. Then, you know, after two or three days or whatever it was, those cards got nerfed, and all of a sudden people fe felt like there was actually reason to experiment with the new cool card on the season pass. So maybe that's something they can improve in the future, uh, because I think when things are starting to get a bit more stagnant, just releasing a new card isn't always going to be enough to kind of shake up the metagame and encourage te testing like you would want with the start of a new season. Uh, but that's pretty much it for all the news we have about uh, the season release today, as well as the matchmaking changes. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you like this boost? Do you think it's going to help fix the problem? Are there other changes you would like to see? And are there variants in this upcoming variant rush that you're excited for? But that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you enjoyed it, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.